Hello, friend. Welcome to class. This month's theme is called Rock and Roll. Today's lesson is called Rolling Rhymes. We will learn about and move through identifying rhyming words in popular nursery rhymes. We will experiment with the locomotor skill rolling. For today, you will need your water, seven hoops, and your play mat. Hello friends! I am so happy to see you. Welcome to Get Up and Shine. Miss London and Sunshine are so excited to have fun moving and learning with you all. But first, let's review our three rules. Rule number one, stay on your own play mat and keep all of your materials at the front of your play mat and do not touch them until Miss London tells you to. Should we stay on our own play mat? Yes! Should we play with our materials before Miss London tells you to? No. Rule number two, if the skill is too hard for you, I want you to keep trying. All you can do is try your best. When the video is over, you can replay the video another time and try it again. In rule number three, have fun! Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Hey friend, I was just reading Sunshine her nap time story. She loves to hear nursery rhymes before she falls asleep. What kind of stories do you like to hear before you fall asleep? Hello friends! Hello friends! Hello friends! How you doing today? There's many things to see, places to be, things to try. Don't forget to ask why because you can be who you want to be. Follow me count. One, two, three! You can be who you want to be. Oh! Hello, little one. Well, aren't you the cutest little thing? I'm Miss London's grandma. My name is Grandma J. I heard it was story time today. Child, I love me a good story. Nursery rhyme, bedtime, nap time. Woo! No matter, Grandma J loves reading. But did you know, Grandma J loves rhyming. Yes, you can call me rhyming Grandma J. You know my baby? Stand up, stand on up, baby. Stand, stand up, baby. I want you to get moving with Grandma J. Can you do that, baby? I'm gonna rhyme and we're gonna have a funky good time. Can you dance with me, baby? Okay, good. Follow me and keep up now. <laughs> it's time to rhyme with Grandma J. It's time to rhyme with Grandma J. Listen to that sound and break it on down, break it on down. Listen to that sound and break it on down, break it on down. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Rhymes with jump, jump, jump. The sound is ump, 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 ump. 
Now let me see you stomp and jump. Stomp, 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 stomp. Jump, 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 jump. You got to listen to the sound and break it on down, break it on down. Listen to the sound and break it on down. Break it on down, tiptoe, tip, tip, toe. Rhymes with throw, throw, throw. The sound is O, 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 O. Now let me see you tiptoe and throw. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Tiptoe, throw, 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 throw. You've got to listen to the sound and break it on down, break it on down. Listen to the sound and break it on down, break it on down. Fall, fall, fall. Rhymes with crawl. Crawl, crawl. The sound is all, 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 all. Now let me see you fall and crawl. Fall, 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 fall. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Crawl. You've got to listen to the sound and break it on down, break it on down. Listen to the sound and break it on down, break it on down. Listen to the sound and break it on down, break it on down. Listen to the sound and break it on down, break it on down. Bye, Rema J. I love you. <laughs> Isn't she great? I love when my grandma sings and reads me stories. I think we should read more nursery rhymes so we can keep moving. But first, let's practice our rolling skills. Have a seat with me on your play mat. Can you lay down on your back like Miss London? Rolling means to turn over and over again. When you roll with your feet together and arms above your head, that is called a log roll. Let's practice doing our log roll. I challenge you not to fall off your mat. Ready? Feet together. Arms above your head and roll. <laughs> Woo! Again. One, two, three. Roll. <laughs> Did you roll in a straight line? Let's try it again. Feet together. Arms above your head and roll. <laughs> Woo! Let's try it one more time. One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> Great job practicing your log roll, friend. Give yourself a pat on the back and say, Great job, me. Great job, me. <laughs> Did you hear that sound? That means it's story time. We will identify which words rhyme in the story of Jack and Jill. A rhyme is the repetition of exact or similar sounding words. Jack and Jill went up a hill. The words Jill and Hill rhyme. They both share the ill sound. Jill and Hill. To fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down 
and broke his crown. The words down and crown rhyme. They both share the ow sound. Down and crown. And Jill came tumbling after. <gasps> oh no! Do you think after Jill had her tumble, she log rolled down the hill? <laughs> Let's pretend to be Jill and log roll down the hill. Can you lay down on your play mat and show Miss London your log roll? That was a very good log roll, friend. Give me a high five. You're doing a great job at practicing your rolling skills with me. Let's practice another rolling skill. Did you know we can roll our arms? <laughs> yeah, check it out. Try it with me. Up and down and round and round. Freeze. What about rolling your arms backward? Take the arm on top and move it toward your chest to roll back. That's it. Keep trying. And freeze. Hmm. Can you roll your arms forward? really fast. <laughs> and freeze. <laughs> Can you roll your arms backward really slow? And freeze. Hmm. How about rolling your arms up and down. Ready? Roll them up, roll them up, and roll them down, and up, and down. <laughs> oh, you hear that? It's story time. Baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. <laughs> the words man and can rhyme. They share the same and sound. Man can. <laughs> Let's keep reading. Roll it, pat it, and mark it with a B. Put it in a pen for baby and me. <laughs> the letter B and the word me have the same sounding E sound. B and me. Therefore, they rhyme. <laughs> hey, look, there's a call to action in this story. Roll it, pat it, and mark it with a B. We just practiced rolling our arms. Let's practice rolling our arms again to do this call of action. Are you ready? Roll it. Very good. Now, let's pat it by clapping our hands. Pat it. <laughs> now, let's use our pointer finger to mark it with the B. We will make the big letter B with our finger in the air. Start at the top. Down. Go back up. Bring it around and around. <laughs> Great job, friend. It's time for a 30 second water break, friend. We need water to boost our energy and keep our bones healthy.
Look who's up from her nap. <laughs> Today we practiced a log row and rolling our arms. The last row we will practice today is called an egg row. <laughs> Not that kind of row, sunshine. <laughs> an egg row is a row performed in a tuck position that travels sideways. The simplest form of an egg row is to begin by kneeling down on both knees. Bring your chest to your knees with your palms facing down on the floor. Lean over to your side and roll on your back and continue your roll until you're on your knees again. Let's practice our egg rolls together. Kneel on your play mat with me. Make sure you're sitting down on your heels. Here, I'll show you. Instead of being on your knees like this, make sure your bottom is sitting back. Good job, Fred. Now, put your hands on the floor and your head down. On the count of three, let's roll to our back and breathe. One, two, three. Roll to your back and freeze. Are your knees still bending and your palms up? Very good. Let's continue our roll to land on our knees again. One, two, three. Roll. <laughs> Did you land on your knees? Let's try it the other way. Kneel down. Remember to sit your bottom on your heels. Palms to the floor. Head down. Roll to your back first. Whee! Are your knees still bending? Are your palms facing up? Very good. Continue your roll all the way to your knees. <laughs> Great job, friend. Now let's put it all together. On the count of three, I want you to row without stopping. One, two, three, row! <laughs> let's try it the other way. One, two, three, row! <sighs> awesome job practicing your egg row with Miss London. Give yourself a pat on the back and say, great job, me. Great job, me. Uh-oh. I hear that sound. That means it's time for another story. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. The words wall and fall rhyme. They both share the awe sound. Wall, fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. The words men and again rhyme. They both share the in sound. Men, again. Did you know Humpty Dumpty was an egg? <laughs> Do you think Humpty Dumpty egg rolled when he fell down? <laughs> Let's pretend to be Humpty Dumpty and egg roll. Kneel down on your play mat and show Miss London your egg roll. Very good job practicing your new skill, friend. Give yourself a pat on the back and say, great job, me. Great job, me. <laughs> 
It's game time, friend. For this game, you will need seven hoops. You have 20 seconds to grab seven hoops. The name of this game is called Rhyming Hopscotch. We will need to make a hopscotch board with our hula hoops. Let's do it together. Begin with placing one hoop outside of your playmat. Put one hoop in each color on your playmat. Now place another hoop in the middle of your playmat. And one hoop in each color on your playmat. And the last hoop goes outside of your playmat. Your hopscotch board should look like this. The object of the game is to jump from one side to the other. But you can only jump when you hear two rhyming words. When you see one hoop, you jump in with both feet. Where you see two hoops, you jump in with one foot in each hoop. Let's start by standing outside of our first hoop. Are you ready? Spoon and fork. Do the words spoon and fork rhyme? No, it is not time to jump yet. Next one. Chair and hair. Do the words chair and hair rhyme? Yes, let's jump into our first hoop. Skirt and shirt. Do the words skirt and shirt rhyme? Yes! Let's jump in the next hoop. Don't forget to separate your feet. Towel and shovel. Do the words towel and shovel rhyme? No, it's not time to jump yet. Next one. Box and fox. Do the words box and fox rhyme? Yes, let's jump with both feet in the next hoop. Toy and boy. Do the words toy and boy rhyme? Yes! Let's separate our feet and jump in the next hoop. Bear and heart. Do the words bear and heart rhyme? No, it's not time to jump yet. Next one. Hat and bat. Do the words hat and bat rhyme? Yes, let's jump in our last hoop. Awesome. Miss London and Sunshine are so proud of you, friend. Today, we practice identifying rhyming words in our nursery rhymes. We also practice our log roll, rolling our arms, and an egg roll. You even got to meet Grandma J. <laughs> Until next time, get up and shine. <laughs> 
When I was a little girl, my siblings and I used to sing Patty Cake a little different than you probably sing it. I would like to share with you how we sing the song. Ready? Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Baker's Man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it up, roll it up, and put it in the pan. <laughs> I want you to sing it with me. And this time, roll it up and put it in the pan by tickling your tummy. Are you ready? Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it up, roll it up, put it in a pan. <laughs> you might be used to someone telling you to come here by seeing them bend their index finger towards you or waving their hands towards you with their palms facing up. In China, communicating you want someone to come here looks like this. Extend your arm with your palm facing down. Now wave your hand back and forth. Don't forget to tell a friend what you learned today. Bye friends!